Okay, so we're just going to go over the scalping strategy uh, when the market is in a bearish confluence between the daily and the one hour, and then heading over to the five minutes. Um, as you can see, I'm on the odd USD uh, daily chart. It's just a plain chart. First thing we're going to want to do here is go to our templates and load the scalping template. Okay, it puts everything on the screen that we need. We're going to do the same thing and turn off our trend report just so we can see the candles. And here we can see on the daily the start of this downtrend was one candle back. We hit our crosshair starting at the current candle. Left click, drag over, and you can see it's one candle back. We're just going to go to our higher time frame, red, since we have a red candle, and it's bearish. Double click, and it's already set to one candle back. So we're just going to hit OK. And it draws our higher time frame, top line, bottom line. And you can see that the higher time frame is down. Now we're going to head over to the one hour and do the same thing. Starting at the current candle, we can see we're in a bearish trend to the downside here and the start of that is right here on this candle. We're going to hit our crosshairs, start at the current candle, left click, drag and we can see that it started eight candles back. We're going to go to our lower time frame, red, double click and put the number eight in. Hit OK. Ah, you can see I went up one too many so we're going to want to put seven. So we're just going to see here. You don't have to delete these lines. It'll do it automatically. We'll just punch in seven. And there it shows. Took out the previous lines and redrew them in the right candle. Now we can see we got the higher time frame is down. Lower time frame is down. And we can head over to the five minute. And turn our trend report back on and it's already set to the five minutes here and now we just wait for some bearish signals once again like the bullish we were wanting green for the MACD um, so we were looking for the reverse for bearish opportunities and shorts we're going to want to see the red candle uh, signal bar come in, but we're going to want to look for lower lows, lower highs. Just like this candle didn't create a lower low here, did create a lower high. This signal here created a lower high and a lower low. That would have been valid, except the MACD is sloping to the upside. Okay. Just come back here a little bit more. See, here's an entry here, lower low, lower high. We're at that point where it's at the zero, but we are down below, so you might want to wait for something a bit better. Um, always to wait for a nice, a nice move rather than getting into choppy moves such as we're in right now. Um, and also going back to our one hour, we'll turn the trend report off here. And we always want to look for higher time frame resistance and support areas. You can see we're coming down. And we're going to start at the current candle and just look left. Where's possible support? Right here is support and right here is possible support. So we're just going to draw those in. Start at the current candle, use your crosshairs, left click, drag over, and we're going to go 115 candles back for one support and we're going to go 123 candles back for another support. We're just going to click, double click on our support. 
put it in 115, and then do the same thing, 123. Okay, now we can see we've already bounced off of this support area here, and we come back down, and if we get a greenish green candle to the upside here, um, that's going to give us a higher low and a higher high if we close up here. That's going to make this invalid because our lower time frame, we're on the one hour, will end up being bullish. So we're not going to want to take a trade and looking for shorts on the five minute. But we come back down to the five minute now that we've put in some support levels here. And we can see we wouldn't want to be taking any trades down into this area anyways. It just doesn't give us a good risk reward ratio. Uh, you never want to sell into support or buy into resistance on the higher time frames.